Hey guys, hi, it is Brent April here with webtennis.com and yes, we're looking at the great legendary Brian Cheney who just won the men's national 65 hard courts here at the Racquet Club of Irvine. Brian, congratulations. Thank you, Brent. And uh, we were just talking to Brian a few minutes ago about about the serve and uh, you know, he, he mentioned a couple of tips that I think would be great for you guys to listen to. So, Brian, um, kind of go over what we were just talking about those those couple of tips in the serve sure Brent I uh, learned how to serve left-handed and I found that a benefit of serving left-handed was to teach a pro what a beginner or intermediate player has to go through in order to learn the techniques when we use our non-dominant arm it's a real eye-opener for, for, uh, for the pros and so I'm just going to demonstrate a left-handed serve and then I'll talk about a couple of techniques that helped me good Brian, of course, naturally being right-handed. All right. That looks pretty fluid to me, Brian. Well, thank you, thank you. The, the thing that put it all together for me was how late in the swing the snap happens. And I'm gonna do this right-handed. Uh, when we snap on the serve, we wanna go up, elbow first. So we come up and then the wrist turns like this. It's often called pronation. If a person thinks about pronation too early, the serve goes crazy. But this is one technique that I've had that helps a person learn how to uh, use the wrist properly on the serve. Okay. I usually have them come up to the service line and I have them pretend that their arm is like a flagpole and we use the continental grip. We can even choke up on the racket like this. Okay. And I have them just put their arm up in the air, with their shoulders about like this with a comfortable stance. And we toss the ball up and turn the wrist like this. We pretend that the wind is blowing this way and then the wind changes and brings it the flag this way. And it looks like this. Hmm. And so when we serve, thinking about keeping the shoulder sideways long enough, take our racket back. I like to see the palm down like this. Avoid opening the wrist. Keep the shoulders sideways. Let the elbow go up. Elbow goes up. The racket goes down. We lead with the edge of the racket. This, this edge right here. And then make the turn. Simple. So when we put it all together. And then after the hit, the follow through happens. Yeah, I think that's a great point you brought about the shoulders. One of the things I see uh, so much in club tennis is on the serve is the shoulders get opened up way too early and then the whole flagpole thing just doesn't work. Right, right. So you're saying not only do you have to be able to keep the shoulders closed uh, and stay sideways much longer, but you got to wait to really let that wrist rotate, let the flag or the forearm rotate until the very end. Exactly. I don't know whether you call it the chicken or the egg, whether if you open up your palm like this, it turns the shoulders. Or if you start to turn your shoulders early, your palm opens up. Right. Because we can we can trust this going in. Yeah. Learning this takes time. Good. So I wish all your students success. Brian, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.